Have you tried pushing a big table across the room? It takes a lot of effort to push it. But pushing a smaller table is much easier. All movement is opposed by a force called frictional force which acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. Let us conduct an experiment to study the effect of mass of an object on frictional force. For this we need a spring balance, weights, wooden plank with a nail fixed on one end. Place the wooden plank on a smooth surface, attach a spring balance to it. Now pull at the wooden plank with the spring balance till the plank starts moving. Note the reading on the spring balance while the plank is moving. It reads 1 gram. This number indicates the amount of force required to overcome the frictional force and make the plank move over the surface. Now put 100 grams of weight on the plank. Again pull the plank with the spring balance. Note the reading in the spring balance. It reads 25 grams. Now place another 200 grams on the plank. Again, pull the plank with the spring balance and note the force applied. It reads 65 grams. Now, we will increase the weight to 500 grams and note the reading. It reads around 115 grams. We observe that the force required to move the plank over the surface increases with the increase in the mass of the plank. This means that the frictional force that opposes movement must also increase with increase in the mass of the moving object. Frictional force is defined as a force which opposes the motion of a body on any surface. It acts on both the surfaces involved. Take an empty suitcase and another filled with objects. Now slide it across the floor. Can you tell why is it easier to move the empty suitcase?